this is Katie. I food in my mouth. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna start all my vlogs from now on. It's food in my mouth, you're welcome. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a little before one, and in typical Katie fashion, I forgot to eat this morning. I like, didn't even realize I was hungry until noon, and then I got that level of hunger that like I was really cranky. So, um, I was out running some errands, but when I got back in the car, I opened up some spicy Thai chili tuna. It's getting to the point where it is a little spicy, and I have some Fritos as well. My little breakfast. I know you're gonna tell me this is lunch, but I didn't eat yet today, so I'm breaking my fast. So it's technically breakfast. Anyway, I'm just gonna be hanging out in my car today like I used to when I was living on the road. I had like a sense of like freedom and like peace almost when I was on the road um, that I've, you know, kind of lost a little bit being, um, you know, like in the same place for the last year almost in Nashville. So I just wanted to have a day where I'm kind of hanging out like I used to, like I'm hanging out in my car outside like I used to when I didn't have a home base. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna do today. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you're subscribed to my channel for all my lifestyle videos that I make. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat my tuna. It's very difficult to do this with one hand for some reason. Also, by the way, yes, I'm wearing a tank top. It's March, but it's like mid 60s today in Nashville. It's gorgeous out, like super sunny, beautiful out. So I want to go like walk around or like sit in a park or explore. Just kind of like get that sense of freedom back, you know? Because sometimes our emotions and our thoughts are tied to, most of the time, they're tied to, you know, self-love and inward stuff. But sometimes, in my opinion, they are tied to outside stuff. And so I think that certain places can bring you more joy or can make you smile more than other places, you know? And um, just for me, being like stuck in a house or stuck in one place for a long time kind of just brings me down a little bit more. I'm super grateful that I have a place to be, but um, I kind of want to like force myself to get a little bit more of that joy back, you know? And so part of that is telling myself today, like I woke up and I showered and I got out of the house and I want to be out of the house most of the day. I almost just dropped that tuna, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna like bring those positive senses back that I used to have. So I just finished my water. I don't know if I have another one in here. I feel like I have a LaCroix. I do. <laughs> Pomplemousse, the best flavor. <laughs> what is on you? <sighs> Can I open this with one hand? Oh, yeah. Wait. I Wait. <laughs> I got too cocky for a second. Cheers. Alright, so I'm going to eat quick and then I'm going to show you what I bought. And then <sighs> I think... I just kind of want to drive around a little bit. Just kind of like pretend I'm back on the road. Like pretend that I don't live here right now. You know, that that like sense is what I'm going for today. So, all right, cool. I'm going to keep eating. My mouth is burning. This is, this is spicy. My nose is running. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys in a second. Um, before I drive around, I wanted to show you what I purchased this morning really quickly. I went to Ulta. So I've had some of these products in my Sephora cart for the last like month or so, but uh, I saw them at Ulta, so I figured that I would just buy them at Ulta instead of just keeping them in my Sephora cart and not pressing buy for some reason. Um, so it's just a few skincare products by The Ordinary. Some of you guys may know that I love The Ordinary Niacinamide. I've been using it for like a year at this point and it has really, really helped with my acne. I really like that product. And I've tried one or two other products that I haven't really noticed a difference, so I'm not sure like my opinion on them yet. Um, but I just wanted to try out a couple more of their products to kind of like round out my skincare routine. One of the things I love about The Ordinary, or two of the things that I love, is that the products are pretty natural. Like they don't have gluten, they don't have parabens, anything like that. And they're also an incredibly low price. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that there's been certain times in my life that I've used really expensive skincare, and then sometimes where I've used like drugstore. This, this is my phone, it's just in the way. <laughs> 
This is still the phone holder. Can you see that? Ah, okay. So yeah, sometimes I've used high end, like really expensive stuff. Sometimes I've used drugstore. Um, and it just, you know, depends what you're looking for, depends what you like. But nowadays, most of the stuff I get is affordable, meaning like under $15 for um for like my skincare and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, a couple of the things that I purchased at Ulta is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. This was like eight bucks, I think, just a toner. I also got the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, um, and this is like a moisturizer. And the last thing that I got from The Ordinary is their AHA BHA Peeling Solution. So this is a peel um, for your face. And then I also got this lip liner from Ulta. I already opened it and used it and then uh, ate it off when I had my tuna. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty Automatic Lip Liner in the color Mocha. I just was wanting a new lip liner and this was like eight bucks as well. So I got that. So that's what I got at Ulta. So that's what I bought today. Hey guys, I had to run uh, one more errand. I had to get some yarn. Um, also, if you guys didn't see my last video, um, I opened up a new Instagram. I opened up, I started a new Instagram. It's called Shop Katie Carney. So if you're ever interested in purchasing anything that I've crocheted or if you want to special order something or just check out what I'm doing in terms of crochet stuff, it'll be over there on my new Instagram, Shop Katie Carney. I hope that you guys go follow. A bunch of you guys already did, thank you so much. Um, and so I just needed to buy some yarn for a custom order that I got. Um, now, sometimes really what I would do when I lived in my car would be just sit in my car in a parking lot. <laughs> it's such a weird thing like, like it would almost help a little bit with my depression. Um, just sometimes just sitting in my car. I don't know if you guys are the same way, whether you've ever lived in a car or not. Just sometimes sitting in my car just kind of like, I don't know, helps a little bit with my depression. Um, but I am a little bit anxious right now. So, um, I might sit in my car for a little bit, but I don't want the sitting around to cause more anxiety, if that makes sense, because that could do that sometimes. Um, so I'm probably just gonna sit here for a few minutes and then go uh, go find something else to do. It's beautiful out, it's only two o'clock, so. Oh, 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 speaking of beautiful, I wanna show you something really, really quickly. I just received, this is the cutest thing in the entire world. I keep it in my uh, cup holder on the passenger side. Look at this flower, it's from Rose Forever. This is a real rose, and they do like an oil treatment on it so that it preserves it, so this can last up to a year. I also have another larger bouquet in my house, um, but I just think this is such a cute little addition to my car. Like, oh, it's so cute. Um, also, this is not sponsored, but they did give me a $15 off code um, if you are interested in getting like really long lasting flowers. It's just Katie Carney 15. I'll have all the links in my description. Said you're one in a million I hope you know there's not the truth to say the least I sold myself, we stuck like glue I cut the cord leading back to you I'll never go back, but there's still lingering feeling I hope you see we're not meant to be Taking chances just for you to be defensive. You said, I wish I had no feelings. I hope you understand the good I waste the bad. I told myself, I don't need you. In every lie, something sings the truth. I'll never go back. Okay, we're at, I think it's called Aspen Grove Park. I also think that I've shown this park in one or two videos before. Um, this is in Franklin, Tennessee. It's just like a cute little park. Picnic benches, families, I hear some kids. Um, and I'm obviously not wearing like real walking shoes. These are my little Steve Maddens. I love these, they're some of my favorite shoes. Um, but they're comfortable. They're definitely not like hiking shoes, but this is not a hike or anything. There's just like a little, a little walking trail right there. So I'm just gonna walk for a few minutes, be outside. It is beautiful out. This is some of my favorite weather, like mid 60s to mid 70s. It's like some of my favorite weather. Also, there's a bird. Hey bird, what's going on bud? Oh, there's multiple birds. Oh, I scared them, sorry. Love you, see you later. Anyway. I'm gonna go on this little walk. 
Um, oh, and so the footage that I just showed you, um, I just drove around Nashville. I went to Wedgwood, Houston, which was actually part of town that I used to live in like 10 years ago or something, eight years ago. Um, and then I went downtown a little bit. There were so many people downtown. Dang. It, that was like insane to me. I didn't really show you guys a lot of it, but like there were so many people downtown. And it was weird because it was like a Monday, like early afternoon. But anyway, now we're just at this little park in Franklin. I have a very weird urge to jump in there. <laughs> I won't. Don't worry. Um, let me know in the comments though. Do you guys like to jump in puddles? That just reminded me. I really like to jump in puddles, not when I'm wearing these shoes. These have fur, but if I'm just wearing like regular shoes, I like to jump in puddles. I think it's fun. Let me know in the comments <laughs> if you also like to jump in puddles. But I think I, think I showed this park um, a couple months ago. And I think I even said, just being at parks, you know, sometimes like when you feel stuck, like I have for the last few months, it's hard to even take that first step to go outside or to change your routine or to do something different or do something even that you enjoy. Sometimes it's really hard. But if you can push yourself and take that first step, sometimes you realize like how worth it it is, you know? Like this is just so nice walking around in this little park and like it's probably not gonna seem like a big deal to most of you But to some of you, I think you'll understand that like how stuck I felt and how sometimes taking that step is just really hard But I'm here hanging out with all these birds. Can you see them? Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? What's for lunch? All right, I'm gonna finish this little walk and then I'm going to quickly organize my trunk because if you guys saw some of my recent like car cleaning videos, I mentioned that um, I needed to purchase something for my trunk before I like fully organize it and I did purchase it. And so I quickly want to organize that. Hi, beautiful. What's going on? Can you guys see this bird? Oh, okay. What are you doing? How's your day been so far? It's nice out, huh? <gasps> yeah, hi. Even just the noises, oh my gosh. Hearing birds outside, like, makes my day. You know, like in the winter, you don't really hear birds. Depending where you live, you don't hear birds as much. But now that like I'm hearing the birds, it legit is something that brings me joy. <gasps> oh, a red one. Oh, where'd you go? <gasps> hi, is that a cardinal? Are there other birds that are red besides cardinals? I'm honestly not sure. I'm a little ignorant about birds, but I... Oh, bye. <laughs> I love them. I think this is the trail that I did. But you can also go further and go that way. Just a cute little park. Hi. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't fall. Okay, these need to go with my food. So a couple months ago, when I was like first cleaning out my car, I mentioned that I needed a new little mat for the bottom here because I like to have these drawers. I usually have my clothes in them. And if I just put the drawers right down, um, then this lip is too high, if you can see that. So I have like a really thick yoga mat um, that I just kind of fold up and put there. And then with that there, I can open these easy. So oh, I've been looking for this. <laughs> I didn't realize that was in here. Um, but anyway, so I got that yoga mat. It is down there, but I just need to like cut it properly and then just like reorganize this. See, it just fits good up there, comes up to the front. And so it'll be about there. Okay, so then on this side, this is going to be all my camping stuff. Okay, so this is a little backpack I'm gonna put back there. This is my um, like sleeping bag mat that I'm gonna put back there. Um, I have some extra toilet paper, I have a dry bag. So anything that's like camping, um, I put on this side. And again, once I either move back in the car or leave Nashville or get on the road or whatever, I will figure out how to reorganize this better with like everything that I really need over there. But for now, my hiking shoes. 
these are my um, hiking sandals and they're uh, dirty. That's why they're in there. Okay, and then I have a reusable Starbucks cup. These are my CDs. And that's it, and a sock for some reason. Okay, this sock I'm just bringing inside. The CDs, my CD player in my car doesn't even work. <laughs> but I just, like, you guys know I'm not incredibly sentimental, but I do like having my CDs. Um, but anyway, I keep these on this side. So this is a little bit more like the cleaning stuff. Um, I'll put my CDs here as well. So these little balls just go over here. And I'm going to um, put the beanie here and the hats. I have hats in here as well. So those go here. And then just an extra flashlight. Always handy to have. Even though there's one on our phone, always good to have an extra one. Okay, I'm gonna bring this inside as well. Okay, so like this drawer, for example, has some extra hair care in it. Okay, and then this one up here. So again, when I fully move back in the car or move out of Nashville or whatever, I will organize these two sides a little bit better, but I'm going to wait to do that um, until I actually have everything even from the house back here. But this is what it looks like for now. Camping stuff over there, cleaning stuff over there, and my tennis racket and my hats and my CDs. <laughs> um, and then my clothes will go in here and all my like extra makeup and skincare will go in here. So my trunk is done. And see like now these open easily because I just put that exercise mat there so it holds these up a little bit. All right, cool, okay, I'm done. Okay, I think that's it for now. I think I'm kind of done with my like day of being in the car, so I think I'm gonna go home. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.